Now, it's the International Day of the United Nations Peacekeepers and the UN is remembering those who died for the sake of peace. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is due to lay a wreath in remembrance. He's also handing over 117 medals posthumously to UN military, police and civilian personnel who died. Antonio Guterres says the day is meant to honor the more than 3,500 peacekeepers killed in the line of duty since 1948. The UN chief has also said their sacrifice strengthens the UN's commitment in protecting civilians under threat and to continue to promote human rights and the rule of law. We can now cross over to New York and to our correspondent Liling Tan. Liling, can you talk us through the events today at the UN to mark Peacekeepers Day? Hey there, Beatrice. Yes, indeed. So the day began with the wreath laying ceremony by the Secretar Secretary General Antonio Guterres. And this was a somber occasion here at the United Nations headquarters, remembering uh, those 3,500 3, peacekeepers who have lost their lives in the line of duty since the UN peacekeeping operations began in 1948. And just last year alone, 33 countries lost a combined total of 117 peacekeepers. And they will be honored today with the Dag Hammarskjöld Medal that will be presented to them and received by the delegates from their UN military here on their behalf. Now, African countries suffered the most, uh, the biggest loss of lives last year, um, and that has, uh, for the most part, always been the case because they contribute most, uh, the bulk of peacekeeping troops. Now, last year, Chad lost 13 peacekeepers serving in the mission in Mali known as MINUSMA. They, it's followed by Senegal and Togo, which both lost uh, seven peacekeepers each last year, peacekeepers who were serving in Darfur, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, and also China, which, as we know, in recent years has been ramping up deployments of peacekeepers. China lost three peacekeepers last year, one in Mali and two in South Sudan. Now, Beatrice, over here at the United Nations, this is a very somber occasion, the, wreath, the wreath laying and the uh, ceremony but around the world, it's a little bit more lighthearted where peacekeepers are participating in concerts and uh, sporting events where they're visiting orphanages and schools in a bid to better engage with the local populations where they're deployed. Beatrice? Well, Liling, uh, there's been some uh, negative publicity, so to use that word, though, on uh, peacekeepers in Africa in a few months uh, a few months past peacekeeping missions have seen uh, several accusations laid against them uh, sexual abuse for instance so what's the state of peacekeeping missions currently in africa well yes certainly now the un peacekeeping mission has long been plagued by scandals uh, some of these scandals uh, involving children and sex and that has been a great um, uh, that has left a great imprint, a very negative imprint on the reputation of UN peacekeepers. And we've seen headlines in the past few years about these sex abuse and exploitation allegations in missions in the DRC and the CAR. Um, the UN has long held that it has a zero tolerance policy about this, but it has struggled to keep it under control. And UN insiders and experts tell me it's a complex situation for the UN because not only is this a legal issue, it's a moral and cultural one as well. And the UN has to walk a fine line between getting troop contributing countries to contribute troops while also keeping them, uh, keeping, holding them to the UN code of conduct. And uh, the UN also does not have jurisdiction to prosecute perpetrators accused of these crimes. So it's a fine balance. And uh, Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General in March, had announced new guidelines and measures to tackle this challenge, this growing problem. The question, though, is whether these measures are enough to bring these, uh, these cases down to zero. In any case, uh, this occasion here at the UN is not just one to remember fallen peacekeepers but the scandal and these challenges have have also made this occasion one of reflection to look back on past failures and missteps and also think about how to fix these things
Beatrice. Right, uh, Lilington for us there in New York.